Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected. Your All right, the first message that we have here is, wow. We have, give me my heart back. So, wow. What I'm actually picking up with this card is that your person is extremely frustrated at this time here. I'm picking up that your person fell in love with you and it's almost as if as soon as they fell in love with you, you stole their heart here. You could be at a distance from your person. Um, there could be some type of lack of communication or just a break in the communication at this time. But I feel that I'm picking up on the energy of a divine masculine who is trying to navigate life outside of this connection here. Maybe you decided to take a break from your person. Maybe you decided to go your separate ways here. Maybe you just decided to give this connection to the will of the universe. And your person is at this place where they're understanding that this is not something that they can just turn off. They cannot stop thinking about you. They cannot allow another person into their heart space. So maybe this is a divine masculine who maybe tried to replace this connection. Maybe tried to move on to someone else. Okay? Maybe ran away from the intensity of this connection and felt as if it wasn't as important as it actually is. And it's almost as if they're quickly realizing that they cannot give their heart to anyone else. And so this is a moment of frustration where your person is just feeling this emotion of divine feminine, give me my heart back. Because from the moment that I met you, from the moment that I looked into your eyes, from the moment that I fell in love with you, it's almost as if something within your person surrendered. And you are in possession of your person's heart. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up that you may also be feeling this energy as well. You may be at this place where you're trying to navigate life outside of your connection. Not meaning that you don't love your person or that your person doesn't love you. But maybe the delays have caused a frustration. And you released all expectations to your connection. But you know, you're noticing that when you meet people, and you can meet some really, really great people here, but they're just not your divine masculine. Your divine masculine could be going through the same thing. And he's realizing that you are literally in possession of their heart space. There's like this lock on their heart here. So yeah, I feel like your person is literally consumed with thoughts of you at this time here. Um, they're trying to figure out like why can't they stop loving you? They're, they're, it's like this sense of like frustration, kind of like mind blown in a sense. Where it's like I cannot stop loving my divine feminine. No matter what happens, no matter what time, they're, they're actually learning that this connection that you're in defies literally all time, all space, um, situations, anything. And it's, it's mind-blowing to them here and a little bit frustrating in this moment. Let's get the next message here. Wow, exactly. We have, you're my weakness. You see... This connection right here is different from any connection that your person has ever had in their lives here. They're noticing that when it comes to you, they get completely weak, okay? It's like something happens within them. It's like this foreign kind of feeling here as it pertains to their emotions. And it's so confusing to them because they've never had this happen to them ever in their lives. If this was anybody else, they would have completely moved on. They would have had this person out of their system here. But when it comes to you, it's like you have access to the innermost parts of your person. 
that it's like nobody else has access to the to these parts of them. And they want you to know that you are their weakness here, okay? So no matter the time that you spend away from each other, no matter the distance here, I'm getting that some of you may be at a distance from your person here. I'm getting that your person is at this place where they're realizing, okay, that no matter what happens, this connection kind of breaks every rule, okay, that they've ever had for any other connection. But for some reason, they cannot stop coming back to you here. It's like you make them completely weak. They have no control. They have no control. And that's absolutely frustrating to the masculine energy because like I always say, they operate in control. Okay, so let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, what the F is going on here? Your person is definitely at this place where they are realizing, they're just realizing that this connection is extremely different from, from anything that they've ever experienced in their lives here. I'm getting, I'm really picking up on a masculine energy, honestly, who tried to move on from you. So you'll know this message is, from you, is for you if you're masculine, maybe you're not speaking, okay? They may be in another connection here. Maybe you both agree to go your separate ways. The connection just wasn't, you know, adding up or wasn't lining up in a way that you both would like. And you both agreed to go your separate ways here. But your person is like, what is happening? Okay, I thought I moved on from this. I thought that, you know, I was going to take a break from this. You know, I wasn't going to be consumed with this. And your person is realizing that no matter what they try to do in their lives, everything always comes back to you. Yeah, so you will definitely know, I'm picking up specifically for this reading here, this is for a divine masculine and divine feminine who are in no contact, who are in separation here, and your person is trying to navigate outside of this connection. It's almost as if they try to put this connection in the back of their mind. They try to like stuff it down, you know, they try to move on. Somebody is trying to, they're trying to get you out of their system and they're realizing that you are a part of them, okay? You exist within them. There is no turning it off. There is no making it stop here. And your person is confused because they may be trying to meet new people. They may be trying to get close with new people, and they cannot. Their heart wants you, okay? Their soul wants you. And they just don't understand for the life of them you know, why they cannot get you out of their system here. And it's like they're trying to, I feel like they're at the stage of this connection where they're trying to fight it. They may be trying to fight this. But they're asking themselves, like, what is going on? Like, why do I not like this person? It's like they could be meeting some genuinely nice people. And for some reason, their heart is like, nope. They're not the divine feminine. Divine feminine, this, this could be you as well. You could be meeting some people as well that are extremely nice. They're extremely cool. But for some reason, you're always like, well, you know, it's like you find little reasons why it's just not them. Your person is going through the same thing. I feel like there's this heavy marrying energy as well where you both may be experiencing this. You both may be ex extremely frustrated with, the connection at this point so you both have tried to take your focus off the connection here but it's almost as if when you go out into the world and you want to meet people you realize that they just don't do it for you in the same way okay let's get the next message here wow we have but no one is you Wow. Okay, so this explains the reading. This reading is basically a reflection 
of what your person's life looks like external to this connection. This is what it looks like when your person tries to date other people. This is what it looks like when your person tries to stuff their emotions for you down and try to trick themselves out of believing that you are actually their person here. Your person is quickly realizing that no one is you. Of course, they run into beautiful people. Of course, they run into nice people, people who they have maybe awesome chemistry with. But they're, these people, okay, are not what their soul wants. These people are not completely connected to their heart space. These people don't have access to the innermost parts of your person because those parts belong to you, okay? And that is why your person is in this place of complete frustration because although they may want to turn their backs or they may want to do other things out of frustration, their heart is like, no, absolutely not. And so I feel like this is your person's ego kind of saying, give me my heart back because you have it, okay? You're in possession of my heart and I'm not able to operate. I'm not able to navigate. I'm not able to fall in love with anyone else here. Wow. Divine Feminine, you may be feeling this energy too, but I definitely feel like this is coming from a masculine who thought that they could just kind of turn this off. <laughs> but this is not normal love. This is, this is higher level love here. It cannot be turned off because it serves a higher purpose. Okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow, we have stepping out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I feel like at this time, your person is at this place of surrender. I'm picking up a very, very stubborn divine masculine, okay? who you know exactly how this person feels, but this person will hold back. This person will kind of beat around the bush, okay? It's almost as if they will say everything except what you actually need to hear them say here. And I'm getting that your person is getting to a place where they want to step out of their comfort zone and they actually want to begin to operate in their heart space. Because they're realizing that you kind of have the key to their heart here. And if anyone should be um, the person to hear what it is that they have to say, it's you. You're able to understand them. You're extremely gentle with them. You're extremely nurturing to them here. So I'm seeing that your person is at this place where they're like, they're like in a really, really tough spot right now. Because they're realizing I'm going out into the world. My heart doesn't even want to get to know anybody else here. But then when I'm approached by my person or when I approach my person, I'm holding back. And this is actually what my heart wants here. So I feel like your person is definitely being pushed to step out of their comfort zone and to really, really open up to you so that your connection can expand in the ways that your souls are kind of wanting to expand and merge with one another at this time. Okay. Let's get the next message here. We have dreams to reality. Hmm. You know what I think here? I feel like your person is at this place where the kind of love that you two have has always been but a dream to them here. And for them to really have it in front of their faces is kind of throwing them for a loop here, okay? Your person is trying to take these manifestations, okay, these dreams, um, and bring them into reality. And they're really, really having a hard time with this. 
because it's almost as if they can't believe that it's happening. They can't believe that it's you. They can't believe that everything that they've ever wanted is you and it's in you, okay? So I feel like your person is at this place where they're realizing no matter how many people they meet, no matter how many people they engage with, okay, on a daily basis here, their heart wants you, okay? Their heart space is already occupied here. And so it's going to take for them to step out of their comfort zone to be able to put this into their lives, to be able to make it real. Because there's something about, I'm, I'm getting like this adverse kind of energy where who your person actually is and who your person pretends to be here. So because your person is operating with their heart space, okay, kind of blocked off, okay, heart chakra, kind of blocked here, it's like, your person pretends to be this person who doesn't really want to go deep, doesn't really want to, you know, experience this deep, deep, passionate love here, but they actually do. And that's the person that you fell in love with. That's the person that you know here. So your person has to step out of their comfort zone in order to kind of cross this threshold to have this dream love or you know, this dream person, this dream man, this dream woman. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like this reading here is just giving you a little peek into what it looks like when your person tries to go out and replace you. Or when they think that they can turn this love off and act like it never happened. Or, you know, whatever they do to kind of cope with the intensity of this connection here. Divine Feminine, you may be feeling this energy as well. But I feel like you both could be marrying each other in this moment too. And you're realizing that no one else is your twin. And that has really translated in many different areas of your life here. But your person is definitely being guided in your direction here. They're absolutely consumed with thoughts of you here, cannot stop thinking about you. It's almost as if I get this picture of them literally being around people or being with other people, and all they can think about is you. It's that powerful, okay? So this message may not be for everyone, but it's definitely for someone, okay? So that's the message that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!